This episode of the Demonic Compendium contains spoilers for the following games. Viewer discretion is advised. Seriously, I am going to drop some major spoilers for these games. Watch at your own risk. Welcome to a waxing new episode of the Demonic Compendium, the show where I discuss the mythology, design, and game history of your favorite Megami Tensei demons. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax has just been ported to modern consoles, and it might seem counterintuitive to discuss a figure with such high story relevance that I'm about to spoil the end of the game, so go play Ultimax first and then come back to watch, because today, we're talking about Tsukuyomi. Tsukuyomi, sometimes referred to as Tsukiyomi, is a Japanese moon deity who is so mysterious that many aspects, such as what they look like and even a definitive answer as to what gender they are, is up for discussion. However, Tsukuyomi is occasionally saddled with the Oroko title, making their full name appear as Moon Reading Man, so for the sake of this video, I'll be referring to them as male. Alongside his better-known siblings, the sun goddess Amaterasu and the storm god Suzunoo, Tsukuyomi was born after Izanagi's infamous voyage to Yomi, the Land of the Dead. After escaping with his life after failing to rescue Izanami, Izanagi washed his face in a local hot springs. This purifying cleanse gave birth to the three siblings, with Tsukuyomi specifically being born from Izanagi's right eye. After their father decreed these three would rule over the heavens, Tsukuyomi would eventually marry his sister, Amaterasu. However, one fateful day, Amaterasu was invited to an extravagant feast hosted by Ukemochi, the Japanese goddess of food. Unable to attend, she sent Tsukuyomi in her place. After watching Ukemochi prepare the feast of fish, rice, deer, and other delicacies by literally pulling them out of her ass, Tsukuyomi was so appalled by the food goddess's lack of manners that he did the most polite thing he could think of and totally killed her. Word of Ukemochi's murder soon reached Amaterasu, who branded her husband as evil and decided she wanted nothing to do with him. So basically, the entire reason why we have day and night is because these two had a messy divorce after Tsukuyomi embarrassed his sister wife at a dinner party. Tsukuyomi's compendium entry from Shin Megami Tensei Liberation D2 refers to him as the moon god from Japanese mythology. Tsukuyomi was said to have been born from the right eye of Izanagi during purification after his escape from Yomi no Kuni, the underworld. Tsukuyomi was the second of the three noble children, who was commanded by his father Izanagi to watch over the night sky. In the Chronicles of Japan, Tsukuyomi and his sister, the sun goddess Amaterasu, part ways due to their disagreements. This is why the sun and moon appear at different times in the sky. Which basically sums up everything I just said. Design-wise, Tsukuyomi is very interesting because a lot of times when I get to this section, I might have a Kaneko design or two, maybe a Demi Kids version here or there, but Tsukuyomi has been designed by almost every major artist in the franchise at least once. His Kaneko design is pretty fantastic, keeping so many of his features a secret with the mirror face that makes him appear a bit less human than his more well-regarded siblings. Between the swirling galaxy in his cloak and the pendants representing a full and crescent moon, this design provides a great visual take on Tsukuyomi's status as a moon deity. He's also had two separate Demikids designs, with his original being a much more ghostly figure, and his newer one being a bit of a happier little fellow. Look at him. Look at that smile. You think that fish he's holding is one of the ones Ukemochi pulled out of her butt? And Tsukuyomi has had not one, not two, but three different Persona designs. Actually four if you count him in Persona 2, but I don't since that's basically just his Kaneko design. He first appeared in the spin-off novel Persona Cross Detective Naoto as this robotic being wielded by the anti-shadow weapon Genesis. I actually really do like this design. I think the robotic appearance has it fit really well alongside his sibling Personas like Palladian and Ariadne. The black and white checkered pattern makes me think of the day and night cycles from his mythology, and I like that his visor seems to resemble a moon, or maybe at least a space station. But then we later got a different Tsukuyomi Persona design in the game that sparked today's video, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, where he's the persona of one of our primary antagonists, Minazuki. This version also has a black and white motif like the previous version, but is much more obviously a moon deity, featuring a giant crescent moon coming from his head. I am a huge fan of this design and have gone on record saying that this dude is actually in my top 5 favorite personas of all time. 
He's also got a Piccaro version in Persona 5, which I don't think is as good. Kind of feels like it loses some of its own moon motif, you know? And lastly, major spoilers, I warned you at the start of the video, Tsukuyomi appears as a fully-fledged Nahobino in Shin Megami Tensei 5, and I love this design, as it has some obvious lunar symbolism through his headpiece and scythe, while keeping a lot of the aesthetic themes of his brother, Suzunoo. Doi did a really nice job with this one. So, overall, yeah, I really like most of Tsukuyomi's designs. As far as game history goes, Tsukuyomi's first major role in the franchise actually predates the video games. In the second Digital Devil Story novel, Warrior of the Demon City, a special agent character named Narukawa is revealed to be the reincarnation of Tsukuyomi, and as such feels a powerful bond with the protagonist, Akimi, who is himself the reincarnation of Izanagi. Tsukuyomi was eventually added into the MMO title Shin Megami Tensei Imagine during a Halloween event in 2015, and as much as I'd love to show you all footage of me with Tsukuyomi, he's level 80 in that game, so I don't have him. Like, not even close. In Shin Megami Tensei 5, the Prime Minister of Japan, Hayao Koshimizu, reveals very casually, almost humorously so, that he is actually Tsukuyomi, the Japanese moon god, and also reveals that Algami is his brother, Suzunoo. Much like how our protagonist can fuse with Algami to become a Nahobino, Yuzuru Atsuta is able to fuse with Tsukuyomi to become the Nahobino I talked about during the design segment. Siding with Tsukuyomi is treated as SMT5's Chaos Route, and his Nahubino form isn't actually seen since he gets killed by Abdiel during the final segment. If players take the Lawful Route and side with Dazai and Abdiel, they'll fight Tsukuyomi's Nahubino form. And if players side with Yakumo and Nua to destroy the throne, Tsukuyomi actually takes on the role of the game's final boss. In the Persona novel, Persona Cross Detective Naoto, Tsukuyomi acts as the persona of Sose Genesis Kurogami. While lacking in combative skills, Tsukuyomi has the unique ability to communicate with dead people up to six months after their death. This length can be enhanced to up to three years when Naoto's new persona, Amatsu Mikabashi, uses its synchronize ability on Tsukuyomi. And that brings me to the starring game of today's episode, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Tsukuyomi is the primary persona used by Sho Minazuki, one of the game's primary antagonists. Sho was the subject of experimentation under the Kirijo group, specifically being raised by Shuji Ikutsuki from Persona 3. Sho had a plume of dusk from Nyx implanted into his body in an attempt to make him awaken to a persona. While this never happened, a separate consciousness named Minazuki awoke in his body, who was able to use Tsukuyomi. Sho eventually fell into a coma and was placed in a hospital in Inaba, not awakening until long after Ikutsuki had died, and shortly before the events of Persona 4. Most of Sho's backstory, and by extension Minazuki's, is explored in the manga, but we do see glimpses of Minazuki taking over Sho's body throughout the game in order to fight characters using Tsukuyomi. During the game's true ending, Minazuki fades away into Sho's subconscious, but passes the power of Tsukuyomi along to him, allowing Sho to wield the persona himself in one last sparring match against you. And I was hoping Sho with Tsukuyomi was gonna show up in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle at some point, but that never happened. Unless it somehow eventually does later. In Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal, Tsukuyomi has both a regular and Picaro form. Both forms have the unique spell Abyssal Wings, and Joker will occasionally reference the rule-smashing fun machine by loudly proclaiming, It's showtime! I don't normally like to do episodes that are this big on spoilers, but Tsukuyomi's role as an incredibly powerful yet mysterious god works in his favor for an endgame role in a lot of stories. Whether as a Persona, Demon, or Nahobino, he's managed to stand out and give us some pretty great stuff. And so there you have it, Tsukuyomi, the livid lunar lad listlessly lusting for his lost love. Did I leave out something you thought was important? Was I just plain wrong about something? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to let me know who you'd like to see me talk about in future episodes. That's going to do it for this episode of the Demonic Compendium, and I'll see you next time. But be careful while you rest that a demon doesn't take over your body.